Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerardo and I love hair. Today, I'm doing another DIY experiment. So, let's get into it. So guys, it's been a while since I put on a hair mask on my hair and I feel my hair is in the need of some moisturizing and hydration. So, because I wanted to do a hydrating mask, I thought on using aloe because I've used it several times for my skin before and excuse me if my mustache looks so <laughs> unruly right now I just wash my hair uh, so yeah I went online and looked for hair mask and I found this recipe I'm gonna leave it down below if you wanna do it on your own um, but yeah this is what I'm being what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you the ingredients Right, I'm using one aloe vera leaf. You can see it's it's one of the small ones. Um, I'm not using one of those huge ones. Um, everybody on, in social media it's been using on their hair. This is one from plants I have in my house. Um, so one aloe vera leaf. I'm gonna, we're gonna extract the gel out of it. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm not using the one with the mother. I know you should be using the one with the mother because the mother has all the nutrients and vitamins you actually want in your hair. But I have used uh, your regular apple cider vinegar with uh, the ACV water rings. Um, yeah, it, it has worked. Don't come for me. <laughs> I'm just using this. Get the one with the mother. Do as I say, not as I do. And I'm also using uh, one quarter cup of organic honey. You know I love honey um, because it's a natural emollient um, and I've used it several times in my videos before so uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm, 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 I think you already know I really really love honey. So one quarter, one quarter cup of honey. So I'm going to cut the aloe vera leaf and put it in this bowl of water to take out of the that um, silicone stuff that you don't really want in your hair. You just want the clear gel. And then I'm going to blend it in my blender and I'll be back to apply on my hair.
So, oh, I'm leaking. <laughs> um, I suggest you guys use a spray bottle. I only have this spray bottle, this uh, spray water bottle, and the last time I used it, I used it on with some um, conditioner in it, and I think the nozzle uh, sort of suffered through that. So I didn't thought of getting one for this, but if you're gonna do it, get a spray bottle. Save yourself all this mess. Seems like I every time I'm doing a DIY experiment, I'm making a mess. Um, so I'm gonna forget about the mess I made and I'm gonna move forward. <laughs> so I bought these little shower caps because I, um, I'm done of using the plastic bag. <laughs> so these are more more proper shower bags, uh, uh, shower caps. Um, and it's free. Uh, so I'm just gonna use one. I'm gonna use the the blue one. Let's use the blue one. I'm gonna put this away, and I'm gonna put my hair here. Let's see if I can. It says it fits. Oh, it does. It does fit everything. Let me just get the clip. Hold on a second, let's just try not to make a mess. I'm making a mess by not trying to make a mess. Oh, it got in my eye. So now that it's all in, I'm gonna keep this for about um, 30 minutes and I'm gonna wash my hair again and condition and I'll come back once I style and everything is dry <laughs> and show you the results. So far I felt like it really helped detangle my hair. Once it I got in contact, I have a little bit of heat. Really here you can see it's very watery uh, but once it got in contact with my hair my hair sort of smoothed out immediately it had this slip slipness that I that I really like from from the yellow um, so yeah I'm, I'm particularly liking it so far so uh, hopefully next time I do it I'm gonna do <laughs> I use a, a spray bottle but yeah, I think it's it's a good one. Um, I'm gonna keep it, wrap it up um, uh, here for 30 minutes, and um, I'll be back once it's done. Uh, I'm gonna put it, set my timer to 30 minutes. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be back when I'm completely done and I'm fixing my moustache and everything, so I'll be back. <laughs> so you guys know I love organic honey because it's a natural emollient that helps conditions the hair and scalp. It has a lot of moisturizing and antibacterial properties so it prevents dandruff and promotes a healthy scalp because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Organic honey also strengthens the hair follicle and boosts the shine and the overall appearance and it also promotes hair growth, so for me organic honey is a big yes. I have used aloe vera a lot before for my skin and I love and swear to it, but incredibly I have never used it for my hair, so according to my little research, it has several vitamins including vitamin C, vitamin E, B12, folic acid, and choline, which is an essential nutrient required for a normal bodily function and for human health. Choline is grouped with vitamin B complex due to its similarities, and in this case it might help strengthen the hair follicle. Aloe reduces inflammation and irritation of the scalp, and it has a higher content of water and is a natural moisturizer. 
I incorporated apple cider vinegar to my overall routine because I wanted to control the bacteria and fungi that lives in our scalps doing an ACV water rinse once a month. But besides being antimicrobial, apple cider vinegar lowers the pH of the scalp, balancing the health of a dull, brittle, and frizzy hair. So it flattens and closes the cuticle, making the hair smooth and shinier. Apple cider vinegar also contains beneficial vitamins like vitamin C, B, and potassium, promotes hair growth by increasing circulation and removes dead skin and product buildup. So, these are the results out of the hair mask. I just shake my mustache and this piece of hair is going in. Really liking how long my mustache is going on right now. It's really looking cute. Um, but let's talk about the hair. My hair feels super soft super moisturized. Let me show you the back. So my curls are looking... I think they're looking pretty healthy. Um, you know, I like to show you up close. Yeah, they're looking really, really healthy, super defined. You know, I've been saying a long time that I need a trim. And even though I'm the trim, look at my at the ends of my hair. It looks really good. So I think I will do this again. Um, I suggest for you guys because I did a whole mess here in, in my room. I suggest you put it in a spray bottle and spray it on top, or do it in the shower where you know it's just gonna go down the drain because it, it will make a mess. It's very runny, it's very runny, but um, I think it's really good for the hair. My hair feels really good. Um, looks pretty soft and moisturized. Even the, the actual strands feel smoother than before. So yeah, I, I think it's, it's something you have to try. I, I, my hair looks pretty long <laughs> after having it in the flexor rods. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave the, the link here. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more of my content, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. And uh, remember, you can follow me all over social media at Panacurls. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.